Is you want to prank somebody? Is you want to prank somebody? It's so easy. You cannot. It, it will not. Somebody, it's very, it's very easy. It's very easy to prank somebody because I'll show you, Sussy, how to prank somebody. And this one's real wood. I got some fake wood. I got some fake wood. This is a fake wood, and look, it's actually, this is actually fake, it's actually fake. Follow my rule. Follow my first rule of Minecraft. Always do not go in the hole when you're making a trap with TNT. I would follow that rule in Minecraft. And second rule never get near TNT because it will blow up you. I'm in my room, and it's light. Ah! I'm getting you in the hole right now, though. I'm getting creative and get out. Okay, I'm gonna get out. Lenny? Can I just carmichael? Have some 
Alex cannot grate. Several scars have gone missing. Can you come with me? Are we going on a scavenger hunt? <laughs> there is no scavenger hunt. She means I stole the scars. What? Why would she think that? They were all from my department, and they all went missing in the month that I worked there. So she said she had to let me go. And I said, go where? And she said, Crazy Eight was falsely accused of stealing the debt. We need to know with someone who can help clear Lenny's name. You mean like us? Lincoln, I know we have these amazingly accurate uniforms, but we're just 11 year old boys. 11 year old boys who just solved their fifth case in a row. We're ready to see a lot of justice. Wow, you just sounded like this. So I have hair on my arm? So we'll be standing up. Up on this tree right here, it'll blow up and kaboom. Never, never jump down this tree. Because it's safe. Who are you? Clearly we're detectives. Here, buy 
easy to be previously cracked. Oh, please just come with us. There's not much time. Stop right there, Fiona. Open the trunk. What? Why? I I'm not doing that. I think you better. Okay, you caught me. Mr. Carmichael, I think you'll find this bag contains at least one blue dress. Huh? Yeah. I bought the six daters after my shift. Sorry, Mrs. B. I know we're not supposed to shop at our competitors, but it was such a good deal. Well, I can't say that I approve. Oh, wow, they are giving this away. Did they have it in the twelve? Uh, Fiona, I'm really sorry for accusing you. You things sometimes happen in detective work. You're bound to play a few bad hands before you win the jackpot. Whatever. I'm leaving now. Well, ma'am, we've made a mistake. But don't worry, we're not giving up until we find the real shoplifter. It can really help if we can have access to a private employee file and customer mailing list. Look, I appreciate what you're trying to do for Lenny, but I don't need two kids in costumes disrupting my store. Now, please, just stay out. Well, give us another chance. Ace and Jack can't rest until they duck out some justice. I feel terrible, Clyde. We found Lenny, and now he'll never get a job. I just don't know how we got it so wrong. Is it possible reading comic books doesn't make you a good detective? I guess it's possible. Maybe we really are just two kids in costumes. You're right. Ow, that wasn't a good idea. Oh, hey, you guys. Don't mind me. I'm just looking for stuff to fold. I really miss it. Oh, can I fold it? You can have it. I'm done wearing capes. Well, it doesn't have to be a cape. You can wear it as a scarf, too. Did you just say scarf? You're right. What was I thinking? Wrong season, Lenny. How about a beach cover up? No, no, scarf.